Welcome to the demonstration of Fresenius Medical Care's 5008S therapy system. While focusing on the more widespread implementation of one of the most advanced treatment modalities for dialysis patients, the 5008S therapy system has been conceived with the sole purpose of enabling online hemodifiltration pragmatically, taking into account the needs of the nursing staff and, of course, the patients. The cornerstones of the 5008S philosophy are the provision of advanced therapy for patients, easy handling for all users, high safety standards. After one-time assembly, all the treatment modalities on the 5008S therapy system are interchangeable. This helps you choose the right dialysis treatment modality suited for your patient. A better clearance of uremic toxins can be achieved through a better elimination of middle molecules leading to reduced inflammation and oxidative stress. It also helps in better phosphorus clearance and better anemia management. Due to a greater hemodynamic stability, fewer side effects and lesser intradialytic symptoms, online hemodifiltration stands as one of the best treatment modalities for your patients. The 5008S therapy system helps to minimize hypotension episodes, monitors access recirculation and cardiopulmonary recirculation with the help of the following features. Online clearance monitor, blood temperature monitor, venous access monitor, blood pressure monitor, auto sub plus. The online clearance monitor enables an automatic intradialytic measurement of the delivered dialysis dose. The venous access monitor helps in minimizing the risk of external blood loss. The blood temperature monitor helps in stabilizing the cardiovascular response to hemodialysis and ultra filtration. The blood pressure monitor automatically monitors blood pressure during dialysis. The Auto Sub Plus maximizes substitution volumes during online hemodifiltration for a high convective removal of middle molecules while avoiding hemoconcentration and filter clotting. This is achieved by continuous signal analysis of pressure pulses generated by the blood pump. The 5008S therapy system has an intuitive touchscreen interface that is smartly arranged in chronological order of treatment. Due to its ergonomic design, it is highly convenient for a single user to handle blood, dialysate and buyback ports. The patient card can save and remember the chosen treatment parameters, thus reducing a lot of efforts during subsequent therapies. The inbuilt Autoflow EcoFlow features help to regulate the flow rates according to the phase of HDF and thereby minimize consumption of dialysate. The intuitive alarms have three different types of alarm tones to differentiate messages with available online help to solve the problem. A non-contaminating and air-free arterial pressure dome helps in arterial pressure monitoring. The leakage sensors help in detecting the leakage in the blood circuit and internal hydraulics thus preventing potential patient complications. The emergency button provides a systematic one-touch quick response in case of an emergency during treatment such as severe symptomatic hypertension with obtundation. The Fresenius Medical Care's 5008S therapy system, a pragmatic approach to online hemodifiltration,
with the online hemodye filtration through the 5008S therapy system, it's about keeping our promise. Welcome to the 5008S machine connection demonstration. Although the 5008S therapy system supports many treatment modalities, its assembly remains the same for any treatment. As for the prerequisites, we need ultra-pure dialysate, vascular internal access flow rate of 600 milliliter per minute or more, ISO 23500 certified quality water, achieved BFR 350 to 400 milliliter per minute and sterile non-pyrogenic replacement fluid. While initiating a therapy, you would need to perform four assemblies, tap to machine, patient to machine, extracorporeal blood circuit connections, machine to patient. For the tap to machine connection, connect the tap water source with the water treatment unit. Then connect the acid canister to part A. Then connect the buy bag to the buy bag port. For the connections of the patient to the machine, Fit the arterial line, also called as the access line spike, into the blood pump. You will hear the machine beep. Slide the line in the arterial pressure port. Next, put the line in the access clamp. Attach the arterial line into blood volume monitor, followed by the access blood temperature monitor. Connect the heparin port if needed. For the connections from the machine to the patient, place the venous chamber on the right-hand side of the machine. Feed the line into the air detector, then into the return clamp, followed by the venous blood temperature monitor. Connect the venous pressure port, fix the filter, return line is then fitted to the top of the filter, the access line fitted to the bottom. Wait for T1 test to finish. For making the extracorporeal blood circuit connections, make the connections in the following sequence. Connect the safe link spike into the machine. The machine will beep. Attach online module to access line. Connect the bottom of the safe line into substitution port. Connect the venous line to the rinse port See that all the lines are unclamped and close the door. Attach cufflinks. Blue to top blue and red to bottom red. Once the connections are complete, the machine will start to prime. This completes your connections of the 5008S therapy system. Hemodifiltration HDF is a form of renal replacement therapy that utilizes convective in combination with diffusive clearance, which is used in standard hemodialysis. Compared with standard hemodialysis, HDF removes more middle molecular weight solutes. Unlike the conventional hemodialysis, hemodifiltration uses the principles of diffusion, convection and ultrafiltration for the removal of uremic toxins during renal replacement therapy. During this process, the patient's blood flows through a high flux filter comprised of new generation synthetic fibers with a combined hydrophilic and hydrophobic structure facilitating diffusion, convection and ultrafiltration. The convective forces are maintained through the hydrostatic pressure of high volumes of the replacement fluid. Hemodifiltration enhances the clearance of middle and large molecular weight uremic toxins along with the small molecular weight toxins through a phenomena of solvent drag. For the online hemodifiltration process in the 5008S using the ultra-pure dialysate is mandatory. The ultra-pure dialysate can be processed by using the Aqua UNO-RO system with the endotoxin retention filters. The online hemodifiltration process involves the process creation of large volume of sterile and non-pyrogenic fluid substitution fluid through second endotoxin retention filter. 
either pre or post dilution technique of substitution can be chosen as per the patient prescription, while post dilution is the preferred modality worldwide. Due to the enhanced removal of the middle and high molecular weight uremic toxins along with the small molecular weight toxins, online hemodifiltration is a very effective renal replacement therapy. It shows improved quality of life through better control of intradialytic symptoms, anemia and phosphorus control and hypertension control and reduction of cardiac symptoms. Better blood pressure monitoring, reduced markers of oxidative stress and enhances beta-2 microglobulin clearance. Improved patient nutritional status due to better leptin clearance. Reduced EPO requirements due to relatively constant hemoglobin levels. With the online hemodifiltration through the 5008S, it's about keeping our promise. Scenario number one, four hours high volume HDF to be initiated for a 51 year old male chronic hemodialysis patient with well-developed native arteriovenous fistula. What are the steps to be followed? Information is on the screen. After connecting the arterial line and the return line to the patient, manually connect the substitution line to the venous line post-dilution port just above the venous bubble catcher. Press the blood pump start button after closing the EBM door. Set the BFR to 100 milliliters per minute during the initial blood filling. When the optical detector senses blood, touch the treatment start message on the screen to start treatment. Select the UF menu. Enter the goal as 3000 milliliters and UF time as 4 hours. Now select the online icon, touch treatment mode and select post dilution HDF from the drop down menu. Make sure Auto Sub Plus is on. Auto Sub Plus option is auto activated upon the selection of HF or HDF treatment by default. Now calculate the BFR required for this patient by using the formula 7 milliliters per kilogram body weight per minute. In this case, 60 multiplied by 7, that is 420 milliliters per minute. So increase the BFR to 420 milliliters per minute. Auto Sub Plus software will automatically calculate the substitution rate. Initially, the substitution rate will be lower, but as soon as the TMP stabilizes, the substitution rate will change automatically. In the online menu, observe the substitution goal estimated by the machine for the treatment. Substitution volume should be at least 21 liters in this treatment so that the patient will get a total convective volume of 24 liters or more. If the total convective volume achieved is more than 21 to 24 liters, then this treatment can be termed as high volume HDF. Scenario number two, a patient on chronic hemodialysis has serum potassium of 6.1 millimole per liter. The nephrologist has ordered potassium free dialysate bath for two hours after initiating hemodialysis. What are the steps to be followed? Select the dialysate menu on 5008S screen. Click on concentrate type. Select the potassium free, key free dialysate concentrate canister. Click OK to confirm. Scenario number three. A patient undergoing dialysis suddenly experiences severe symptomatic hypotension with a blood pressure of 70 over 60 milliliters of mercury. What are the steps to be followed? Select options menu on 5008S screen. Click on the emergency icon. On doing so, UF switches off automatically and a bolus of 150 milliliters is delivered automatically. Blood pump speed is reduced to 50 milliliters per minute. BP is measured automatically. 